Well, hello and welcome to Business Today. I am Chetan Bhutani, and well, the future of food delivery is definitely autonomous. Now we are, we've been hearing about how you know uh, autonomous vehicles are really ruling the roads, and now we have uh, the food delivery through the autonomous roads. Of course, with two big companies, Uber and AV Ride, leading the revolution, and I'm joined by the two leading la ladies who is actually uh, leading the part for the food delivery for Uber and of course for AV Ride. I'm joined by Megan and I'm joined by Yulia. Thank you uh, for joining us. Uh, you know, and uh, pleasure is always to speak to you. Uh, you know, Yulia, I'll start with you. Give me the tech. How does how does the tech look like inside this? And um, what's making this so much? How many cameras are there? How many sensors are there? And how we developed this in house? Sure. Give me those features. About sure. Uh, thanks for having us here. First, uh, happy to talk about technology. So, first of all, this robot is equipped with various sensors to provide it with the most detailed and informative picture of the surroundings. Uh, we have the LiDAR on top of the robot, which is looking like a small can. Uh, it provides the robot with the geometry of the objects around. So the robot can see the silhouette of the stairs, of the street, of the poles, people around it, cars around it. And it, it doesn't matter if it's day or night. In any lighting conditions, it can see what's going on around. Uh, the robot is also equipped with six cameras which add colors to these pictures and help the robot understand, for example, traffic light signals or distinguish regular cars from emergency vehicles and behave accordingly. And the third, uh, also very important sensor is the ultrasound sensor, which is similar mm. to parking sensors in the car. Mm. It allows the robot to stop instantly mm. in case something suddenly appears in front of it, let's say, someone who wants to test the robot mm. you know people are curious they're trying to do that uh, but robots are ready for that so we make sure that we can safely operate in you, you, at av ride you have been developing this for close to about four to five years now and uh, i want to ask you the key challenges that you overcame you know with time and now we have a good final product that's actually you know a better version of its previous self so what have you what changes have you done in the recent past to ensure that the customers and of course you know uber gets what it wants uh, well, right now, what we're looking at is the fourth generation of our robots, and uh, it has improved everything. It has improved compute system inside its brains, it has improved sensor side, it has improved chassis, which help the robot be more agile, mm. more maneuverable, uh, and in such a way, it like provides more safety and at the, same, at the same time, more efficiency for the robot because it can safely operate in crowded areas mm. uh, while still uh, being safe for the people surrounding the robots. Mm. Uh, of course, the algorithms, we never stop improvement the new releases of the software happen pretty much every week so uh, you can see you can be looking at the robot it looks the same all the time but it's getting better better and better all right megan i'll come to you now um, how does it look like uh, to be uh, you know partnering with av ride uh, for uber eats and uh, you know uh, how's the journey been and uh, how are you getting the public response when, when they actually see uh, something like this you know delivering food to them yeah, thank you for the question. It's been a great partnering with AV Ride. Um, we're live now together in three different cities, autonomous delivery, Jersey City, Dallas, and Austin, with more to come soon. Um, as Yulia mentioned, AV Ride has a very strong commitment to safety, which is why we wanted to partner with them, but also because they have incredible technology and capabilities. The consumers have also loved that technology mm -hmm. piece. When you see these driving down the road, people are curious, but they when you actually have an order delivered, there's also magic to that experience, mm -hmm. and so it's been really Really great bringing this technology to different communities across mm. the U.S. And well, you know, if we, if we can walk towards you know with the with the towards the uh, AV ride, and uh, what are the consumers saying? Because you know, uh, it's actually very new that you know uh, consumers are getting uh, their food delivered through a robo. And you know, uh, what are the consumers saying? Any response? Any interesting comments that you usually get uh, when you are rolling out such uh, products? Um, there's definitely a key of surprise and delight when mm. people do see that their order is being delivered by a robot. Mm. They see in the app, an Uber Eats app, oh, your order is about to be delivered by a robot, and people wonder, wait, what does that mean? Mm. Um, what am I going to have to do? Maybe there's a little bit of apprehension, but when the robot actually arrives, it's so simple. Mm. You just click tap to open right in the Uber Eats app, and it opens automatically, and the eater is able to get their order, mm. um, and it remains safely locked until they do retrieve mm. it. So it's been a really great experience, and people have loved it. And well, uh, do you, your Uber uh, partners, you know, are they feeling uh, a kind of feeling of FOMO, fear of missing out? Because, you know, if this is the future, then of course, uh, the, you know, the community of drivers are actually, you know, getting troubled in the future. So do you think, uh, will they coexist or do you think uh, in the times to come, this would be the future for 100% food delivery through autonomy? Um, no, we do expect both human couriers and delivery robots to grow on the platform mm. for quite some time. Um, 
not all routes can be serviced by an autonomous robot mm. and particularly over the next few years and so we do expect both of them to grow side by side mm. to meet increasing demand and just last question to you before i move to julia for for a final comments uh, uh, you know uh, how, tell tell our viewers how many uh, per square kilometer per square mile uh, will a one robo service and uh, will they, will it actually take time uh, the same time as a delivery partner would take um, yes, they do. We, the delivery times are comparable to a traditional courier. Um, today, these robots service downtown Austin, and we found that their optimal delivery range is around one to two miles or three to four kilometers. Mm -hmm. All right, Julia, final comments from you. Uh, how are you, uh, you know, working more on technology because you're a tech company and, you know, you're uh, developing all of the sensors and cameras, lidars. Um, I want to ask you, you know, how are you trying to make it better? How are you trying to improve it to ensure, you know, Uber also gets great product while you know your credibility in the market also remains uh well we're using all the opportunities to make the robots better uh if we're talking about the sensors we are not developing sensors right now ourselves but we are taking the best from the market which is available and the market of sensors is constantly evolving we have better lidars we have better cameras with lidars with better resolution um regarding the construction of the robot as i already said we significantly reworked the chassis uh in this current generation which makes the robot more agile more maneuverable um, and the software, of course. You know, you've been you've been seeing this like revolution happening this on the software side with all these AI tools, which we're definitely using to make the robots uh, safer and more efficient. And is Uber now trying to give you more orders for this? And uh, how does the order book looking like? Oh, well, we're constantly growing the number of restaurants participating in the program, the area of operations it will already is also already being expanded and will be expanded more. Uh, so, yeah, really the love partnership The partnership is going well, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, thank both you. of you, for joining us. Well, that was uh, the two leading ladies, uh, you know, uh, Jensen and, of course, Yulia, talking about uh, how uh, really the future of uh, vehicles and autonomy is looking like. EV Ride, on the other hand, is developing more tech. And Uber, of course, is trying to make the consumer experience more pleasurable and, of course, more nicer. With Karana Bursan Himanshu, this is Chetan Budani reporting from Austin for Business Today. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.